All right, just to show y'all what's to come. These are the players that we have sorted according to their classes, so-called. The winner of this series is going to be able to pick. It's going to have first pick. You're gonna, they're going to start picking from C class to B minus to B plus to A minus to A plus to S. Yep, the picks will be immediately after the game. So I'll get both these idiots into a voice chat without mad in it then we'll uh deal the ban banter it out the last time we had a crew battle was for sfj and it was between snark and berg and they all really good is it possible to participate uh if let's say we do have an empty slot and we need a replacement uh you are at the top of my list alexi depending on uh, how good you are all right let's have a look at the at the uh, rules and regulations and everything while we wait for that off. we're currently waiting for that off. he needs a he needs a bit before we can all right so Jordan Krubel, there are two team captains, Marco and Lata, team captains book from a pool of 40, we have about 36. So each team will consist of, ignore the numbers here, they will consist of almost an even number of C, B, A and S classes. Then captains will decide who to belong to what class, obviously we will from MG and Turbo. So the C and B class players have three lives, while the A and S has four lives each. If a player loses a life, they are, loses all their lives, sorry, they are eliminated. And if they are eliminated, the opposing team will pick who plays next to go after the other guy that just played. So, those are the battle team captains who pick who goes up next. Players will only play players similar classes where applicable. So, that means that C class players will play C class players, and then B class, and then A, and then S. So, you can't have an S class player play a C class player, obviously. So, Opposing team has no other. Uh, if the opposing team has no other similar class players, the surviving player will have to play a higher class player with a twist. So if let's say, if let's say Mr. Matt here got wiped 3-0 by Deep, and then the other team doesn't have another C class player, and then they'll have to send a, a B class player to go in instead. So the B class player will now have to play the C class player, but with a twist. The twist is. For every time the lower class player wins a game, they take two lives away instead of one. So in a situation where Mr. Neek... So in a situation where, let's say, Mr. Neek plays against Matt, and then Matt wins one game against Neek, he doesn't take one life out of from Neek, he takes two lives. That means Neek, who has three lives, who is a fresh player, goes down from three lives to one life immediately. And then for every player that you eliminate in the same class, you get $10. For every player that you eliminate in a higher class, you get $20. The colors are just the different classes. We have, uh, there's like C, B minus, B plus, A minus, A plus, and then S. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. All right, boys and girls. Well, mainly boys. I, I don't like seeing how boys are there, but anyways. Welcome to what is about to be one of the biggest events in R2 history, R2 huge event history. That's going to be the start of the showdown crew battle. So, what's going to happen is that we got two team captains here, Marco and Latov. See Marco in red, Latov in blue down to his bottom here. They are the captains of their own teams and we have a pool of roughly about 40 players uh that they can pick from so they'll have a team of about 20 players and every time they'll have to send one person to play against each other each person has about three slash four lives and then eventually if you lose all your lives you're eliminated from the entire competition so uh, this is just a best of 11 to see who gets first pick out of those uh, out of those pool of players. So best of 11, run dry heat, Latos map pick after rolling the high number. Let's go. I'm expecting Latos to not take any chances here. Absolutely. But this match gets picked first class for C players? No. The winner of this match gets first pick for all of the classes, not just one. For all of the flipping classes. <laughs> yeah, it is real dry heat here. Uh, funnily enough, Latov's house is actually down by this corner. You don't actually see it. Took the drone. Yes, it did. Oh, my upper back is killing. Me. 
uh we'll see about that that's not uh it's not really confirmed i i i assume that is for all classes but maybe we'll have it so that uh it's for just the first pick in in general uh i'll have to ask Turbo about that about that actually yeah exactly first pick in each class is fucking huge which is why i say uh it's probably a big thing i'll ask Turbo and see what he says i assume there was one thing but not for another Anyway, it's dry heat. Totally forgot that was again going on in the background. Marco getting drilled. He did repair it. All four of us have been captured. Lots of interesting build down to us. Double ref there. Four minutes and gems. Marco, four minutes and gems as well, but he's already on gold. Of course, a little bit chilling down. Not much. A lot of looking to build down, actually. I think it's going to build a barracks right here. Or a radar up here, and then the barracks down. A lot of seems to be run on front foot here. He's only trying to get another drill in. And he does get drone here, Marco. Marco's drone does not get drone, fortunately. Good micro there from Latov. I believe Latov was. Uh, whatchamacallit? Latov was warming up before this. And he has the show match against Tim, I believe, later on tonight on Ivor's channel. So we'll see about that. So finally, love the Deso King does not get a Deso up himself first. Marco is the first one with a Deso. And he does repair his miner as well. We've got two Desos in the field, three Desos. Ah, 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 four of ah, 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 drone goes down. Try with the double drone there. So Michael Soleil is spinning on the right hand side. Latov has it spinning onto us the bottom left. Uh, I believe you should be able to build up here if you're, uh, if you're nutty enough. I know you can build up here for sure. I haven't seen anyone build up here yet. I think I have actually. Just don't remember it. So let's have yet another drone. Ah, 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 ah. The drone goes down there. Let's have trying to push forward. And Marco actually out tanking. Let's have by maybe one or two, not too much. Eco's doing a little bit normal as you should on dry heat. There comes the refine on towards the bottom left. Red really Marco looks like Let's have exactly. I feel like they, they swapped their names here. So look at his defensive setup for Marco. Oh, nice. Oh, nice bait. What? Like, oh, what an engagement. Oh, it's going to be a little bit tough there for Latov. He goes in with some nice bait. Deploy those Dessos and they get deployed and then they die straight afterwards. So Latov baiting that Rhino to get the drone in, to get the Dessos down. Fortunately, he almost got caught in the corner there, but he's still engaging here. The miners are going to be great as for the Marco. Pushing forward, he knows that Latov needs to back off because he can't really click. And there's a drone Rhino in there as well. Marco now going up onto the lab. And he has the IC up and ready here. There's three war factories for Marco. Three war factories for Latov. That miner is still on one tick of hell there. I think Marco might just dive in for it. Just send one Rhino in, bro. Just click it. Go down. It's split from top left here. Marco goes down to reply. There's a desert right there. Let's not get deployed. Finally, it doesn't get deployed. But the IC is going to be detrimental here to Latov. He needs to do something. And he needs to do something quick before the IC can get off here. Look at this desolation placement here. Marco obviously has his defensively behind sentry guns. So any drones can't go in. Obviously. Sub Z. Another split here attempt by Latov. He goes four on the left and then splits two. Uh, no damage then. The IC is almost ready. I think Marco, is he going for drones or is he going to IC the rhinos? I feel like he's going to do the rhinos instead. Latov maybe just taking a little bit too much time. There. Marco has to be aware of his sand control. He just lost one rhino. I thought he lost all three, but. Oof. Sakura, you're probably going to one at the moment. Yeah. I saw Korea beat Spain there as well. Ooh, double drone. That goes nowhere. Latov still trying to split apart here. It's a good idea splitting apart because the IC won't be as damaging as you think it would be. So splitting up your units whenever your opponent has an IC is generally a good idea. And Marco goes for a four death for death. So for drone split, sorry. Latov retreating to his service depot. Will he be able to get any of them out? Looks like he won't be, and there's no point killing the Rhino. 
You need to get that into the service depot. And that damage has been done pretty harsh there. Almost all of the attacks from that middle ball has gone down. Lots of sniping and rogue minor there. But Marco comes in with the clutch on the other side. They still have the rhinos. They're just cutting off the edge. And the death zone comes in on the bottom of that cliff. Just to push Marco away here. But I think Marco's defensive play here on dry here has been absolutely extraordinary. Latov has been trying to push forward here. But Marco says no. The Deso placement, the ability to just uh, stop the tanks from going going haywire, you know. And now he tries to snipe a miner on the right side. Still no avail. To no avail, sorry. He even goes through the desolation. The drones go in. Two of them do go in. The Deso right in the middle here does not get deployed. Marco zoning Latov in here. He's trying to force Latov into a position where he does not want to be. And this defensive play for Marco is really, really, really good. On the way back though, Marco does snipe. Get a minor snipe, sorry. He sells the MCB. The IC is ready. That's so it has been deployed, but it looks like it might be a suicide end here from Laptop. Trying to get some damage along the way. He's trying to snipe those miners, actually. If you recognize what's been happening here, Laptop has been going from patch to patch to patch to try and get the miners out from Marco. So he sniped a miner here, sniped another miner on the way back here, and then one more atop here. So three minus down for Marco, and now look at this engagement here. Marco waiting to pop the IC, and the IC has been popped. Only four rhinos, but in lead coming up for Latov there. Four rhinos I see one of them being Latovs. Pretty horrid IC, if you ask me. But the drones at the back does make a difference. Now Latov has his own IC. 1.7k in the bank. And slowly going down. Now the tables have turned. Marco has sold his MCV. He sold the War Factory to keep up the eco. And he got his minor snipe. He had another minor snipe there. He has about 1k in the bank. He cannot survive for much longer. Meanwhile, Latov. Oh, losing another miner here. The minor snipes from Latov here has been absolutely game deciding. The, the fact that Latov has been pushing up forward as well means that Marco can't really aggress on him either. Being the aggressor in this case, it's so beneficial for Latov because he's been sniping those miners while keeping his own protected. So here's Eco slowly running away while Marco's slowly going down. And there we go. GG. Playing smart indeed. You're absolutely right there, John. Marco. Pushing forward, but Latov not taking a bait. Latov not taking a bait. GG. 1-0. Okay, game number two. Ooh, okay. Latov starting at the back, Marco starting at the front. Okay. All right, predictions will be closed in five, four, three, two, one, and they're closed. Marco 62%, Latov 38. X. They're all talking about Reese, but these are the spots in QM. You might get uneven spots, but that's the that's the name of the game right there, boys. So there's two things that come out of this. Everyone saying I swear these were QM spots. Yeah, War Factory hasn't been you or not. It got fixed. I didn't know. There's no reply, and it's probably just gonna probably gonna go move on with it. All right, it's fine. They're gonna play on with it. See, Marco and Latov are people, are players of determination. You know, they don't bitch around just because they got a bad spot. Listen. They play to what they play with whatever they get, they adapt, and that's that's how you differentiate the best players from the other ones. <laughs> what do you mean, asshole guy? <laughs> Whenever you think of the the two words bad spot, you think of legend. Yeah, so they are gonna play with it. 
I, I think the spots are... I mean, if it's an SVS... Sorry, I'm yawning. If it's an SVS, it might make a... Uh, if it's an AVS, it might make a difference, but in terms of an SVS, eco, economic-wise, it... Uh, it's... Probably a little bit more uneven than you think. Because Marco obviously is spawning forward, he will get the forward foils a lot quicker. He can get a forward war factory, the first war factory right up front. Uh, Lata of starting at the back, he captures this for this patch of gems. First war factory goes around the back, of course. Oh, I'm already capping the top, bottom hasn't been touched yet. The bottom oil as well from Lata hasn't been captured yet. First oil does go down towards that top right of the middle island. Now Marco very early on with a radar. Let's not going down towards the bottom. But yes, back to the starting spots. Uh, the, the front player obviously get the front oils and the first war factory is there. But the back player gets a little bit more security around the back with the gem patch. And the first war factory is behind. But the second one will be right up front. Where is this going? Marco has Marco has done this before. He, I, I forgot it was. I think it was playing legend. He just <laughs> sent like, uh, two two engineers down towards the bottom, but right up front there, out comes a Deso, Deso, a dreadnought. Sorry. Oh, and laptop is fucked. Laptop is fucked. That's two L's down and the front war factory down as well, along with the refinery. One hundred percent value of that dread. And look at Marco down towards the bottom as well, re-capturing uh, lots of oil. Well, around the back. Cheeky little scout. Finally, a squid comes out there, stops Marco from pushing forward, but the IC has come out for both. IC is out for both players. There are lots of now scouting all the way around the back. That squid there will just eliminate any further dread influence. But look at this split from laptop down towards the bottom and then longer top. Marco pushing him back along the top, along the bottom. Latov does not have that many rhinos on the field. Earlier at that stage of the game there, Marco had about five rhinos to Latov zero. Only now did, uh, only just then did Marco just try to rebuild. But look at Latov diving in for it. I see, will he get it? Will he get it? He absolutely gets it. And that's 100% value there. That means that Latov will be able to get his IC off, unfortunately. He does get pushed all the way back and he won't be able to get his IC off. Both players losing their IC. Their front barracks with a Deso. But he... Oh, nice snipe with that power. That he might have lost a lot of Rhinos, but... It did slow him down quite a bit. That Dreadnought was the main determining factor there. It took away everything, every single bit of eco, and the fact that Marco has the bottom oils as well means that Latov has zero oils. His all patches are far away. He didn't get the gems, and he's gonna be broke pretty damn soon. Marco rebuilding his IC down towards the bottom, but this this kind of this kind of thing is just Marco's map. He plays it really well, made some really great decisions there. Not too sure why Latov had a severe lack of tanks right at the start. Uh, maybe he got hit with the Doofus Syndrome. The uh, I forgot to build tanks syndrome, you know? <laughs> Dread come, I think that Dread was meant to come out right up front here. But there you go, here comes this player from Marco. Latov trying to push down towards the left side as well, but it's a little bit late. Easy out tanking. And out towards the bottom right. On the defender. With the miners as well. He does survive in the end, but I don't think his rhinos will survive anytime soon. Yuan Marco still building. Still ongoing. And still pushing through. Defensive dress OP. Yeah, this is just this is a scare Fire factor. It's just to scare you for it. Alright, one all. Very, very dominant for Marco. Look, has the Arctic Circle spawned? Do, 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 do.
Okay, let's go game number two. Game number three. Sorry. <coughs> game number three, sorry. On Yin Yang. And of course, it's last off spec for Yin Yang. Oh boy, yeah, that Arctic Circle game. It's. I want, one, I didn't know it was fixed in QM. Uh, before this, it was always uh, just this random spot. It doesn't matter. Uh. Doesn't matter where you spawn, people are players, often the, the very high level players just play with it. Uh, players like Ed, Marco, Tim, they probably won't give a shit, they'll just play and last half as well. But I think it has been fixed, probably is what I'm being told. So, good to know, good to know. But yes, Marco is super, super dominant on uh, that map. Of course, I open up my eyes to you. Alright. Seed of lemon in. Right, second drone here from Latov. So Latov gonna go with the double drone, of course. Does he get anywhere? Yes, he does. First drone in. Second drone just waving high at their counterpart. Love Friday, Ancient Aliens Marathon. What the fuck is Ancient Aliens? I bet it's American. <laughs> Let's save. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I like watching pawn stars a lot more. Pawn, pawn. You know, I, I like watching like storage walls as well. I don't know why. It's the dumbest thing in the world. The storage wars is interestingly entertaining. Ooh, a nice save there. <laughs> he gets droned again. What are the drones from Marco? Yeah, he went double drone, and that was the third drone right there. Yeah, storage wars is like when they bid on storage like units. It's like yeah, American pickers. Oh, look at that, Marco. Forced to kill a, a miner. I think that was that was the miner that was... Um, what do you call it? That was drone. Early on and got uh, repaired. So another drone coming in would have uh, almost instantly killed it. So Marco... I'm sorry, last I'm trying to build up this cliff there. Marco just trying to stop that with the uh, power drop earlier on. Is Marco killing a bit of ore here? I, I assume it's to place a wolf, uh, a refinery. I think he's still off by one row. And he just killed quite a bit of money there. And look at this push onto his bottom left there. The power drop with some rhinos. It took three sentry guns. Two of them does go down and top right the power drop from last off. Sentry gun still coming out here trying to defend that para drop and laptop backs away. Uh as you top right you would often see like maybe two or three para drops and then they start pushing it. I don't know. <coughs> Same thing with top left. I've seen many of players just drop like three para drops here, ignore them, and then midway through the game and then they push them in. Get another push down towards bottom left. Marco doing two things at once. Probably way pointing down towards the bottom left. Your laptop pushing them away. Even more sentry guns coming up. But look at this push from Latov. Now let's see this mastery of engagement here from Latov. Marco almost running through a brick wall. He's still going to push through with that engagement. I think the biggest strength for Latov here is his ability to abuse the terrain and the flip side especially. Take a little spit from Marco down towards the bottom there. He's trying to snap a miner. Unsuccessful. But uh, does pull away some uh, macro away. 
Now the parents are getting squished. And this split onto a bottom from last time once again. This will be detrimental because Marco's quite far away. And last time he's gonna turn around and dips him in Doozle. He can definitely win that fight, but I think he doesn't want to risk losing way too many rhinos because Marco has quite a bit to be able to counter just like that. And now Marco trying to push down towards the top right. Nice Dessos from Latov. Latov having Dessos down towards both edges. So he can't go anywhere here, Marco. Even if he tries to push in. And the Petra top right gets ignored. And Marco is pending down towards the top right hand side up on that cliff. We've yet to see any sort of abuse of the terrain from any of these guys yet. So we'll see if that comes in pretty soon, especially from Latov. I want to see that. I still remember when he was playing Bobo or Kyo and he kept going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and then he starts pushing in. Try back and forth this way. So we got one, two, three, four, five wall factories for Marco Latov. One, two, three, four, five as well. So Marco is slowly building down towards the middle as well. Latov will probably have to move his MCV. Uh, I think one of the only ways to build down towards the middle of the left spawn is probably to move your... Uh, actually, yes, but it takes quite a while. Uh, right side, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You can build here and then up here straight away. What's up, Brevo? I don't know, 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 I don't I I guess he's done with his revolution. So he's here trying to see some R2. Yo, 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 yo. yo. Alright, check a little split once again. Top right, just ignoring those Dessos. He's gonna target those Dessos first. Marco, as per usual, priming that top right war factory. And look at this engagement with the Dessos are gonna be in play real soon here. That's four, five of them ready to be deployed. Marco just pulling back slightly. And now they're on the other side. And that's when they start to take the trade here. Are there any Dessos back in base? No, but there are drones. And now the split comes into play here. Let's see who comes out of it alive immediately. Latov splits apart and Marco does not split. Latov going for the building chair. I don't think there's a winning situation for Marco at all. Where's the splits from Marco? Absolutely none. And look at a ton of drones that was stockpiling down to the top right. No worries, man. So many drones, so many Dessos. Where are the defensive efforts from Marco? He only has drones, but he does not have Dessos. And that's an easy defense there for Latov. He still has bottom left to deal with, though. As the game starts to get a little bit laggy for some reason. There's an elite down towards bottom right, it does get droned. Latov on the other hand, surviving with five rhinos. One definitely gonna get an elite pretty soon. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, later. Run away! So pretty close engagement there, but I don't know why Marco didn't split when he was engaging up front. That's up definitely had the right idea. He immediately split, immediately goes for the war factories. Marco did the same, uh, but except he went for miners and then war factories. But uh, Marco still does not, uh, not still, he does not have a, uh, a MC, an MCV, sorry. <laughs> But uh, Latov does, he does have Miners and he does have War Factories. And the drones left over from defense coming onto the offense. This should be game over for Marco here, but obviously he's not going to give up without a fight just yet. He's kind of concede to an elite pretty soon. Come on Marco. Oh, maybe he's doing the anti thing. He knows he can't win, so he's just gonna annoy the fuck out of Latov. 
Trying to get that mental down. Can't really get mentality down from laptop, can you? How do you break an unbreakable man? By using his family. Uh, sorry, what? Since we got down to his bottom right. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Marco finally. It's a mid defeat, my man. And down he goes. 2 1. Everyone wait. My dumbass typed Q and Q in Twitch chat, thinking that was CNT. Alright. <clears throat> We're on to divide and conquer and marco starting in his favorite spot so i call i'm calling it right here marco's gonna do his sig uh, signature build if you don't know his signature build on divide and conquer where the fuck have you been for the past month um basically he's gonna build all the way to the right hand side and once he has a refinery here he'll send two three miners down to us the gems and I have no fucking idea why no one ever goes to pressure the miners here. <laughs> to just stop them from mining the gems. Oh god. Uh, it's, it's, always a, it's always a fun thing to see how many miners Marco would send down to his middle. Because the first time we saw this, I quite remember Sander was there as well. The first time we saw this, and Marco sent, uh, he, he, I saw him send like one miner to the middle. I was like, oh, okay, that's a good strat. And then I remember he, he was in chat as well. He was like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's a good strat, sending one miner. And then I, I look at the enemy's base. And then I look back towards the middle. And then I suddenly see three, four miners on this gem patch. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the balls of steel on this guy to go four miners down towards the middle when you have refinery right here. So I think these two miners, when they're finished with this, they'll go here. And then come back but yeah the balls are fucking steel man that's obviously only doable along the top side because it only takes uh this all patch for you to be able to reach here the bottom left not so much it takes about <laughs> a lot fucking longer i have a lime seed in my straw Disgusting. Get out. <coughs> yep, there you go. Just one miner for now, Marco. Where's the rest? Come on. Bitch boy, come on. My, my phone keeps ringing in the back. I'm gonna put it on silent. So, I have a little bit slower in this build. Uh, obviously, laptop not the build kind of guy. He's more of a tank control and death kind of guy. Look at this build from Marco already heading towards that gem patch. Marco, sorry, Latov. Is he heading there? He's a little bit late. He's gonna be quite late to that gem patch. Marco's definitely gonna have that first. And the drone down towards the middle does not go his way. Yes, that is a Rhino Heavy tank. Thank, thank you again. Yeah, Divide and Conquer is one of the most boring and one of the most interesting maps to play. Boring because the builds on this is very, very long. Interesting because the engagement that comes out of this is very textbook. Like, if we follow the Chinese ranking thing where lower ranked players can only play a set, uh, can only play certain maps, this map would definitely be one of the beginner maps out there because everything that you need as a player as a good player is here the, the base walking the minor micro the uh the direction you should base walk in and everything oh look at marco alting that war factory and then he pushes it onto to, 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 to the top as well refinery down laptop builds another one and power plant down minor count miners go and count <laughs> minor count marco one two three four five six seven miners in the field 
That's out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minus on the field. I think Marco has eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, seven. Eight. Yep, he has eight. I'm more down towards the middle. I'm using arrow keys because I'm scratching my balls. Yep. Kidding. <laughs> or am I? So nice little radar there from Lato. FC that's what's around the way. Try to spin on the right side. I think you tried probably try to scout here as well, try and see. Again, miners are on 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 underwear, uncontested down towards the middle there. But he only tried to contest it with drones, and that was pretty much the only effort being thrown at it. Right side still pushing through or trying to push through here. Lots of is he gonna try and make a stand by this all patch here. It happened quite a bit. He's still trying to bait Marco to bring his rhinos back, but Marco's not gonna take that beat. Beat that bait too easily. The gauge on the right hand side here. Dezos on the way. Nice Dezos around the back there. Good snipes all around, but Marco still out tanking laptop in this case. Even with the new uh, rhinos coming out straight from the war factory. Right side split still ongoing. Marco is taking a tour here. Latop gonna get stuck in a sandwich. And a red Marco sandwich. He tries to get out of there with the only way he can through a line of rhinos. And uh, Latop not trying with another spin onto the top here. While he gets hit onto his bottom left. Top right. Latop is gonna try and combine his two armies together. M2 is gonna get targeted here. But Latop down on top left. He's winning the fights here. He's out tanking Marco and that end. And Latop has four deaths in defense. Marco's gonna have to go around it. The four runners down on top left. Gonna go for the miners now. And the Dessos still keeping Marco at bay down towards the bottom left. That was a nice split from Latov. But I think Marco still has this in the bag because. <laughs> of the amount of insane eco that he has which initially in turn gives him a fuck ton of rhinos look at that top down towards the bottom of that defense with the desos but it still pushes through but this is over ever since he pushed forward and that's gonna be 2-2 now to marco Did the game start late yep All right, Red Valley. It might just it's funny though. If you don't know what Red Valley is, it's one of the newer maps that's been added to QM. It's been in the Chinese QM Rambo QM for quite some time as well. It's a very good map actually. It has that. Uh, the, the one thing good about this map is it promotes engagements, and maps that promotes engagements are one of the better maps to play out there because they're not gonna get bored sitting behind tanks. And you're always gonna see lots of engagements because looking at the build here, players obviously go for the small jam patch, get maybe like two miners on it, two or three miners on it, one go, get all of the gems down, then go to the other patch and eventually start building down towards the middle. On the left side, smaller patch around the back, and then you slowly build down towards the middle to eventually get down to the middle patch, which is where all the fun happens. Similar to Dawn of Peril, yep. Similar to Dawn of Peril as well. I haven't seen this map in a 2v2 and I feel like this map would be insane in 2v2. Absolutely fucking insane. Obviously you do have an option to build down as well. It does take you quite a while. But if let's say you do come to that situation, I think players will more often just move their MCVs there. Uh, one, because they're lazy and two, because it's quite nearby to where the spawns are. Uh, this map is called Red Valley. Can you put a refinery where his penis is? Uh, for Marco or for Lato? It depends who has a bigger penis. For Lato. Oi, oh, from where he's, yeah, from where his power plant is. I don't think so. 
We'll see. Oh, he can. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I'm proven wrong. That's a pretty decent stretch. That's a very decent stretch. Well, I guess he played this map much longer than both of us to, to be able to know that. Got him! Oh, I st oh, fuck man. Every stream I keep talking about this. I have Doofus's voice clip of him saying God on boys. But I haven't added it to my soundboard yet. Because life has been in the way. And that goes my mic, sir. Stay up, fuck. Alright, see what's going on here. We're trying to spin on towards that right side. Sitting on a bunch of gems. I did one drone, we got three more factories, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minus. For laptop hasn't sold this refinery yet. Drone goes down, Marco. Five, six, seven, eight, nine minus as well. Sorry, blowing my nose. So my culture is trying to spill on their right hand side here. Nope, no one has moved their MCV yet to the other patch. So Marco still being a little bit aggressive on their right side here. And he's trying to push it down towards the middle as well. Again, taking away macro from Lazo, but Lazo now with the Dessels up front. The drones do take care of them though. And it looks like Marco does win the engagement on their right hand side here. Uh, he does win it by but not by much. The Sentry Guns are gonna be able to defend that fully. If that last one does decide to push forward. Nice counter there by Lats. I'm just pushing Marco away, not allowing him to come forward into his base. Oh, I hear my nose. <laughs> so another split from Lats off. From Marco, sorry. There's a bottom here. For some it's not that great in the splits. Marco is sure to be doing a lot of them and lots of pushing all the way forward by the war factory. We will down around the back here. Miners are running away. Drones are being fed into the rhinos here. Latov still running all the way around. Get just with that cliff. To get him some distance from the rhinos here. On the right side, Marco making its way to the miners. Out of the five miners there, one is remaining. Well, Latov does have full control of middle here. He's going to do the same to Marco. It's just that one miner remaining does not manage to get it. And he does get pushed back all the way. Uh, and yeah, down towards the middle as well. Marco remaining rhino sniping yet another miner. Still trying to push through here. Latov did have a couple of uh, miners down towards the middle, but he does get sniped. As does Marco's miners about to do here. Marco now with an IC on the way after that lab is coming out. And Marco's up again. Another miner on the right side. So many miners getting sniped here. That's what happens when you have a map like this where or is right off the front, for front of the forefront where all the engagements happen. And yet another refinery coming out here. Another split down towards the bottom left. All the way from top left coming in from Latov. And it goes ring around the Rosie. Absolutely ring around the Rosie here. <coughs> Another minor rig getting sniped. Minor, why the fuck is it? Why the fuck are you there? Oh, why the fuck are you there? That's your problem. And now he moves. There we go. The yeah, IDMC move should be coming in. <coughs> That's tough, obviously, moving down towards the right hand side towards top right because you don't want to move here. The base is right here. Marco's base is right here. You could easily split apart. 
That's a foot in here trying to push forward. It's pretty tricky, Latov. About to get hit by an ICP soon here, Marco. Trying not to bite on the bait, but Latov still pushes all the four here. Is Marco gonna pop the IC? There you go, he pops the IC. And the Dessels gonna pop immediately afterwards. And can Latov survive this? The IC about to go down in three, two, one. Down goes the IC, but an elite comes out of it. A lot of with two riders remaining on the uh, front line that I was pushing through, but Marco now coming in with an elite. They're flying to Chile tonight? But they're coming back. So really coming around the back here, Latov still trying to push forward. But Marco seems to be really good on the defensive here. He doesn't really allow Latov to do what he does best, and that's to uh, abuse the terrain, go around sniping miners. Right side elite still making a lot of headway here. Another elite coming off a Latov. Left side, Latov still defending and playing the uh, chicken game here. One of the elite goes down, but so does all of the drones. Last elite about to get drone. Rhinos on the left side goes down. Rhinos on the right side goes down, but not without losing one singular miner. And on the back of that, Lantov. Two rhinos compared to Marco's four. Three rhinos compared to four. And that IC is about to get popped real soon here. Once more, a rhino pushing forward. Yeah, it is fucking dull, but it's pretty intense. The, the, the closest of the game is pretty good here, Marco. Yet another spell on the right side. Latov coming into the defense almost pretty quickly. And then the IC pops after a, a regroup. And those three miners are pretty much done for. Meanwhile, now Latov trying to drone a couple of things. And he does manage to drone the IC rhinos on the right hand side. Marco still with three war factories. And now they can push in. Well, let's try to Marco quick on, quick on the defensive. Latov just getting the loss of the rhinos there. Huge engagement out towards the middle there. Marco clearly attacking Latov. Obviously because that superior economic, not really superior economic, but really good minor micro. And there's the GG. And the first player to lose their map pick is going to be... Mr. Latov, 1-0 down, so it's 3 up now for Marco. It is Try Again by Funk, P-H-O-N-K. Forgive me as I munch on some chips because I'm hungry. All right, just two chips. Hold on. All right, Pavel traveled. Another one of the map picks in Latov's repertoire. If you don't know what a repertoire means, go Google it. Google it up. Exactly, Steve. That is exactly my thought process there. This is the Latov map. You see choke points. You see forward engagements. You see desos. This is a Latov map. Spider-Man, not Spider-Man. Who the hell is Spider-Man? I only know Spider-Man. Sorry, I'm picking my teeth with a toothpick. <laughs> Alright. 
Ooh, there we go. There we go. There's a laptop right there. Minor drone immediately pushing forward all the way with two rhinos there. It's going to deplete the health of the miners so fucking much. The miner does go down to one of those, uh, one of the rhinos there. Almost perfect uh, trade there, two for one. Another pair drop comes in, but it's a little bit too late there, that pair drop. That's off getting droned. I'm buying the top right, but less aggression from Latov here. Simply super aggressive, but a little bit too aggressive, maybe? He is on the retreat. Marco has the first power plant and War Factory forward. Latov building backwards. So Marco clearly I think gonna get another refinery up. The doors of the war factory are bugged. Still a couple of conscripts here. And they're killing all the dogs that are coming up. It's funny. Fuck oh, get a sentry gun. There you go. Alright, double war refinery. Only now does Latov push forward now. Uh, sorry, base walk forward with that four barracks. Obviously getting a death cell on the field as well. Uh, Marco would kill the trees. I'm not sure whether Latov would. But he might just place a plopper refinery right there. But Shadrigan comes up down towards the uh, bottom side here. Latov trying to push with the rhinos as well. Connie short work of the sentry guns. And uh, look at Latov's position here. He's trying to push Marco away from his base. So that he can have the upper hand advantage here. But the fight still goes on. It's pretty close, but Marco has a nearby uh, tent. Sorry, not a building, a nearby tent garrison. So Latov can't even stay there for much longer. And uh, Marco successfully defends. We have the price of some of the um, uh, rhinos getting damaged. I think Beta is going to heal now. Go heal doesn't have that good English. Beta is Luft or whoever the, whoever the hell that is. Girl is really. <laughs> I don't. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. So, it goes down anyway. So, Dezo does not defeat the Paradrop. Uh, unless he has an elite there. But top left, Marco doesn't seem to realize it. He is slowly losing that oil. Uh, of course, with that elite as well. That's happened quite a bit. Marco's still pretty oblivious here. He's gonna lose that oil and the refinery, and he does. That's a big yikes. Maybe his music is too loud. Someone tell him to turn down his music. Look at Latov slowly inching forward here. Yeah, Connie is right up on the forefront. Deso's in the mix. <coughs> More pair drops around the back. Marco now going for IC, but. There is no nuclear power. He still has power from the power plants, but Latov slowly inching forward here, taking out two war factories. Wants to target, wants to target those rhinos, but unfortunately, uh, he's just a little bit too cautious at this point. Snipes is not the miner, though. He could definitely go for the engagement, but I don't think he wants to at the moment. Three war factories now with the middle gems, and still has his top patch of gems to go for. I thought I was going to have eco for days. He's ready on 7k. And Marco's so broke. He can't even repair his war factory. Look at that. Get another to bottom there. Marco holding a firm and solid line straight up. Waiting for the Dessos is going to be uh, Latov. Desso King himself waiting to push in with those Dessos. And then he'll decide to push in. Dessos make quick work of father and they're great. At uh, stopping your opponents from following you whenever you're taking an exit from a section of the map. Looks like Latov is getting the IC up as well. Marco only just getting his IC up. But Latov so dominant on this game. So dominant. Today using three runners to push, uh, push forward and kill the nuclear power plant. Always gets an elite out of it. Oh, 
Oh, that's also died to the new reaction. I think it's an explosion, and then there's a there's a there's a the, the radiation down towards the bottom. So it explodes like an oil, and then they they die to the they uh, emits the radiation. Sorry. They, they weren't that close, bro. They were super close. What do you mean? The the plant was right here, and the desert were like that's also like here. The range for a nuke is pretty far. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Elite immediately coming and going. There's a veteran right there, so it could be elite. But the drill coming from Latov around the back here, and even more reinforcements trying to push forward. Pedro coming in as well. Pedro's gonna take a good look at the refinery. He decides that is enough, and down goes Marco now. Three, three, going back and forth here. Will be first pick who knows all right game number seven best of 11. so see down the siege is next probably a map more suited for marco considering he's the one that makes all the good decisions Look at this. It's very, very nice from a lot of you going on to the other side. I was born in C class. You're immediately born by the C class. I live it, I breathe it. I forgot how the speech goes, but I only remember the first part. Is that even the first part? I don't know. I don't think so. Here comes the gas of drone, sorry, not the flag drone. Immediately the uh, minus has been sent to it. Oh, it undeploys, but it still gets drone there. A poor little miner. Press V on it, please. Please, please press V on it. Please press V. On it. I'll let trying that same thing. Easy as you like. They'll spawn to top left. Did they remove those spawns? I don't think so. Let's be again here from Latana towards the bottom. Snipe the damage miner. And down it goes. Where are the tanks for Marco here? Not too sure where they are. Probably on the way over from the factory. Coming in factory new, but where is the factory new item with no factory? And down it goes. That top still wrecking absolute hell here down towards the bottom left. There we go. Two rhinos on the remain. Reinforcements a little bit coming. A little bit coming. Those are, are all are still in contact as well. Ah, I want a standing desk. Oh, it's a dazzle. Where's the razzle dazzle? Sort of follow. I've never seen one anyone one allies here on Seed on the Siege. To be picking allies on Seed on the Siege? You're fucking mad. You're a blood cloak that. Italian child, what's up, Seven? Alright, so now we have the super weapons on the way. Uh, except for Latov, who hasn't even built a radar yet. Hasn't expanded too. 
So it's gonna run into a brick wall of economy pretty soon. Mako has a really good build as per usual as always. I've never seen Mako mess up a build. In my years of casting, I've never seen Mako mess up a build. <clears throat> so that gonna move his MCV either way. So build doesn't matter. Or rather where he's building too. Look at this lads off. Garrisoning all of the buildings. Perfect. Absolute perfect cover here. Let's uh Ryan's will make quick work of it. I mean with the ally power plant buff, you can definitely make <laughs> gonna trigger someone. There's probably someone in chat that doesn't know that the ally power plant buff has been enabled in Eurekia. Alright, let's push along the other side. Ooh, nice, I see there. That's how definitely couldn't keep him in his own backyard. He's on the chase. Marco's gonna sacrifice all three, I think. I was never gonna survive out that side. Gear of reporting. And there it comes. Gear of reporting. From both sides. Almost immediately, one after another. The Kirovs have been summoned, and both players now has one all patch left. So, obviously, Kirovs probably good to take out the bunkers with it. Then, players will just plant them right where the enemy would go by. Which is pretty funny, you know. You see an airship of the opposite country's flag. And you wonder what happens if I walk under it? What happens if I walk under this huge ass zeppelin? And I'm an enemy player. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's of absolute suicidal there. Pushes in, regrets it, changes his mind, and then now he backs off. But both I see are already they're definitely gonna be one to use. To counter one another, I see from Latov gets picked first, and then Marco. Marco getting more rhinos. I see than Latov here. So the miners have been pushed over to the other side, but Latov chooses to pull back and defend. Does he defend? Yeah, I see. He does not. He absolutely does not defend the IC here. And flat cannons and flat tracks coming out for that Kiro pushing forward. Probably will get the battle lab with the damage done to it as well. What does he have left? He have about 2k in the bank. And even more children coming. Sorry. I mean rhinos. Oops. There you go. There's the MCV move. people to play allied maps. I think Fjord is a good allied map. And properly abuse cannons there. There we go, there's the IC! Akko caught off guard question mark still repairing his rhinos a little bit late to the reaction to defend as well. There's not really much you can do about this except for try to run away and wait for the IC to go down. Lata trying another split again on towards the bottom right here. Not a split, but the reinforcements coming in and Marco on the retreat. I repeat, Marco on the retreat. Player defeated. And the GG though has been called from Latov. He can't survive with that eco. And getting out gunned and out tanked as well. 
to do that, it's going to be 4 2 Marco taking the lead once again. Sure, this is over, yeah. That's my boy, who the fuck he is? Huh? Alright, let's go impasse. And let's gonna rock USA tomorrow. Yeah, US has a shit football team. I, st <laughs> I still remember one of the videos that made me laugh so fucking hard is the Americans. Yeah, I know, Sever. <laughs> is the Americans calling Kristen Pulisic the LeBron James of basketball? Of football, sorry. It was one of the most funniest and saddest things I've ever seen. What do you mean I'm just slang? <laughs> Football, it's not soccer. I want to play some soccer, dude. Did you see the f soccer World Cup, dude? The soccer World Cup, super good, man. I don't know if I'm just playing hard, yeah. Soccer World Cup. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> Marco obviously walled in his uh, walled in his oil. Latov has no walled in. He opts for central kind of obviously got walls a little bit too late, I think, for that power drop. And uh, smart guy side just gonna get us an all the buildings we don't with just one single conscripts. <laughs> Recognize it. Explain this map. Uh, you start here, you start here, you move here, you move here, gems here, gems there. There you go. Ooh, that was nice. Double drone into Marco. Oh, that was a clutch save there. Can I call it skill? Oh! It goes down. I was like, can the cost ship kill a miner enough for it to blow up? And the answer is no. Oh, it's the drone itself that killed it. Whoa! Whoa! So that's not trying to get some revenge here. Trying to get another miner out. Obviously, Marco has lost one miner. The second miner. Where are his tanks? Where are his tanks? Where are his tanks? Power goes down. What in the hell is happening to Marco at the moment? And there we go, there's the defense. But he lost quite a lot there, he lost two miners, I mean look at this. And last time has been just slowly building and building and building and now he's probably on the way down to his middle. Helicopter sector. Helicopter, helicopter. Obviously one pair drop sitting here, two sentry guns, it's gonna make a quick deal out of it. Looks like both players are going for the split here. Or the trade, sorry, not a split, the trade. That's a legend. Yeah, they are gonna go through for a trade here, but this looks like Marco is the first one to retreat to defend for that trade. Not a good trade at all for Marco. We got dog for immediately coming out from the backwards barracks. And chasing those rhinos down. There's absolutely nothing else happening elsewhere. Pop, pop, pop. There you go, Marco. Oh, GG, and it's four to four. Really back and forth here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think mm, I thought vetoed Arctic Circle. I'm not sure what Marco vetoed. Okay, let's go go and say freeway. <clears throat> oh, I just stopped right. Damn, there you go. 
Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Gosh, damn it. I need more cash. What the fuck are you talking about, chat? Why are you leaving me out of it? My fucking stream. Leave me out of my own chat and my fucking stream. Don't sound about when soon, soon, soon. Whenever I get my life back in check. And I'm not working like 20 days a week. 20 days a month, sorry. Well, technically 20 days a month is kind of like a normal working minus a weekend. We're working this thing. Did Adam quit? Yep, Dazzle. Adam has been busy with his fiance and everything else, so he has retired. It's about color of a K? <laughs> of course, it's about color of a K. You're white. Everything else with a hard C is part of a K because you love K's and, uh, and, and the other K K's. Don't mind us to have been repaired. Three runners run spit down towards the top side for lat off. Markov responds. One really late, two sentry guns. Looks like the oil does survive either way, but uh, not. <laughs> doesn't seem can be safe for Latov's oil. Who explodes down towards the bottom. You thought Doofus is Latov? Sometimes I watch her stream? What the fuck? Well, of course it's not right now because, you know, Latov is a game, but. <laughs> what the fuck? How the hell did you think that Latov is Doofus? Or Doofus is Latov? That's because he wants to be a Latov. Ah, 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 ah. What's happening here? Why is it so boring? Someone do something. That's right. I'm slowly getting more tired drunk. Not drunk drunk, just tired. Drunk, tired. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh easy. Claude, I'm gonna ask you no. the same question that I asked. It's time to go! It's got to go, blood. It's got to go. NG easy, come on man, I'm not gonna fucking end the stream here. I'm not a man of honor, I'm not gonna end the stream here, dude. I'll refund your points, fuck no. Jeez, uh, left us spinning on the right side down towards the bottom there, easy snap on that wall factory. Looks like Marco sold his MCV, that was like there was a split onto the top right as well. <clears throat> Which uh, Marco does defend it nicely. You were bored, all right. <laughs> True. Marsh is glad that NGZ won all of his child protection services. Got more drones on the right there for Latov. Let's start Latov slowly trying to pick away here at Marco, but easy. I'll, I'll refund your points, don't worry about it. I bet you got all that from the gambling. <laughs> Doofus is actually this guy named X Katot. Oh, you don't know him? He's a secret Dutch guy living in America. And he has such a good Dutch accent then. Oh, look at that. Marco losing a miner to a drone. Trying to get a coin to kill it. Go in your room. Go in your room. Go. Yeah. Oh. Nice snipe there. Nice split from Latov. 
Not sure why Malcolm just didn't commit a little bit harder to Kane had a good dodge actually, yeah, until he got tainted by the Westerners, aka Matt. The biggest Westerner there is. The biggest forehead Westerner there is. Nice defense. Yeah, this split, I mean, it's kind of like playing chicken. <laughs> Where is this going? And bear in mind, there's still one uh, full jam patch not taken, so everyone can basically take the opportunity. Engineer gets squashed. So it's cutting close here, pretty tense. Mako turns to fight a lot of not as many, or not as much. Gonna split for Latov as well. Try to go down towards the bottom there. Mako does see it. He sends the Rhino back that way. Oh, see Latov trying to uh, reinforce down that bottom right hand channel. But Mako not giving up without a fight. He says no. And if Latov backs off too far away, he's not gonna take the bait and follow Latov all the way there. He's gonna wait for Latov to come back once again. So Mako playing it very cautiously here, using his mind to his advantage. And pushing when he thinks he needs to push and pulling back when he definitely needs to pull back. That's off on the other hand is straight up brute force and power. And the absolute finesse with those desos as well. Looks like all of the armies have combined into one. Except for a small hand free. How much Tommy? That is yes, that's a yes. And it's T-O-M-I, isn't it? Up, 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 up. Ooh, Marco losing another miner. These drones have been so annoying because obviously Marco doesn't have a service depot, right? So he can't do much. I mean, so does Latov, but Marco needs to save that eco. Look at Latov right now. He committed so much money onto the drones and rhinos, and doesn't really have that much money left here to use for the LD wall as well, but. Did I say LED wall? The fuck am I talking about? That's, that's a work thing. This I don't know if this is tense or this is boring to watch, but finally engage was down the top right there. Lots of just trying to maybe snipe one or two miners, but it turns out into a full blown allegation consideration. Commiserations down the right side. Not doing all well for Latov and even down towards the middle going down the highway. Marco able to commit a lot more rhinos forward. And that's gonna push Latov all the way back. Even the two ones that he had here has been charged and are not faulty at all. A disengagement for Latov going around to try to snipe the miners. He did, but unfortunately, he's gonna lose all the runs as well, which means no eco for those miners. It's gonna be five to four. A change, please. It's the wrong guy. Three, four, five, six. Just do one for that. Tres, cuatro. All right, let's see what map is next. Oh, is it a break? Pirate Bay. Uh-oh. Hi.
I literally type P I E. Oh shit, sorry. Fuck me. It's 5 4, yeah, yeah, my score is wrong. It's 5 4. Sorry. Sorry, I'm still tired. <laughs> Alright, 5 4. It's 5 4, it's 5 4. Alright, let's go match point. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'll let me know when it starts, but the current score is 5 4. I'm so sorry for this, I'm still super tired. I'm, I'm running on like 4 hours of sleep the past few days. Alright, let's go. Match point for Marco. Let's go Pirate Bay. So obviously best of 11 first to 6, so match point it is going to be. Can you play in the list? Alright, so just the first pick in general then, okay. So they get to pick the first C-class player. <laughs> no, no, I, I think uh, I think they just get to pick the uh, first uh, first one. Yeah, they will they will be in a voice chat. Yep. No worries, Turbo. But uh, if you can get home, that would be nice. All right, Pirate Bay lights off on the left, Mark on the right side. I will try to stay awake for this one. If it sounds like I'm just stuttering nonsense, it's because I have work in my head. I'm thinking about work. <laughs> so when I say shit like LED wall, like LED wall, there's some shit at work, which is why I, I keep saying stuff like that whenever I'm, I'm tired. and just ramble on and talk about shit that doesn't make sense. The list is not available anywhere at all, um, but it will be available after this. After they have picked the teams. Because for sure, some fucker is gonna go around bribing or whatever. So. I'm following you and have uh, one more night shift. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a pirate bay. Let's see here. Almost identical builds at the moment. Yeah, literally identical. Two miners on gems, two miners on uh, gold, and then a power plant along the top with the war factory. I'm turning out. And who are we bribing for? What version? Ooh, interesting. So second war for a laptop goes along the top here, and second war for second war for Marco. Sorry, second war for a laptop? Question mark. Da, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's a drone. Just wondering where it went for from Marco, sorry. Before. Don't pick me last assholes. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. The drone's going down pretty easily. Nice voice? Why? Oh, why, thank you, sir. I... Uh... I'm really flattered by that. I mean... I don't try to make it nice or something. But... You know... Thank you. <laughs> Tabo! You're gonna make me... Lag out. I gotta stop my alert. Skip, 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 skip. Thank you very much. Turbo with the 10. Alright, we got EFC. Our lab's already out for Marco. Marco stream sniping. Stop it. <laughs> Don't worry. A very nice 4x3 there. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Alright, so nearby is not out yet. Both players also have a significant amount of conscripts down towards the middle from the power drops. Marco abusing stream. <laughs> yeah, he got he got he got a gifted sub, so he knows. Fair drop top right easily dealt with. Da -da -da -da. 
I keep wanting to change that, but I can never do it right. The, the sublet. Hey, server. My man. My neighbor, my ninja. I like this placement of the of the IC right here and the wall coming up as well for that off. But of course it's a little bit out in the front. It's okay. Yeah, it looks like both of them really want to win this game. So they're not really taking doing stuff that they would usually do. They're being a little bit more cautious, a little bit more precarious of what they want to do. But Naviad is out for Latov and a squid or a sub immediately comes out of it first. Looks like Marcos can be triggered the first one to try and engage it along the top. All ships go down. IC does get pulled for the IC drone from Marco. The entire army down towards the middle has gone down. Quicker than your mother on a Friday night. All the rhinos go down. Now Marco makes a turn for him from the top right down towards the middle. That's how I'm gonna lose along the top as well. He has an IC ready, but does he have the tanks for it? He has five down towards the bottom and he I see four of them. Pushes the rhinos away. And he lives to survive another day. But Marco coming back into the fray. And what can Latov do but pray to see that he sees this game out. He goes on the defensive here. Sergio Gun comes out. And that's play along the top here for Latov. His IC might be protected, but his base is definitely going to be defected after this push. And he comes out here out of nowhere. And what is best to see than Marco coming back? forward with the uh, push as well. She almost gets a war factory down but another three split along the bottom there takes out a miner. There's a dreadnought down in the water but unfortunately last I've kind of forgot about it. Did not get any damage out and now Marco engages long enough to get a second IC down on the board and it's currently match point so whoever wins will get first pick. It looks like the MCB does not go down. MCB does not go down. The elite is not going to make a huge difference in this engagement right here. Unfortunately, it does get targeted and the elite goes down. He missed the MC. That was the biggest delay I have ever seen by GG. 6 4 the final score. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, great fucking games. <laughs> Not much great commentary from me because I'm falling asleep half the time. But, gee, jeez. You know, whatever I send you in chat, we're going to do this. The winner gets to pick a the first pick in general. No matter what class, no matter how good they are, you get the first pick for whatever class it is. After that, we're going to pick players from C class onwards. And obviously, Marco, you had the first pick. Lot of you have second, so Marco, you'll get the first pick for the C class. But for now, I need each of you to pick a player of any caliber to be in your team. Marco has first pick heights. I'm, I'm really getting confused. Like, do I pick anyone pick or anyone, just anyone? From... Anyone. Oh. Anyone, anywhere. Um. I guess I pick uh, Legend then. Oh! Really? Why, why Legend? Why Legend? Because he's uh, really shit, but <laughs> I think that... I think that he can perform if he gets lucky, but I'm hoping that he gets lucky this time. Ah, okay. So first pick for Team Aqua is going to be a Legend. Latov, how about you? Only Keen is there. Only Legend and Keen is there. There's Ed, there's Tim. Oh, but there's like S negative and S negative. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll have to go with Tim. You go with Tim? All right, all right. So Tim is going to go on Team Latov. So that's our first pick for you, chat. Tim and Legend already on the other side. So 
We're gonna move on now from C class all the way up, so from left to right, and then eventually to Ed and Chien. So Marco, who are you gonna pick for your first C class player? Mm. I guess. Uh... Okay, I'll take Matt this time. Ah, he did it! I'm, he did I'm it. pretty sure he's worst of the three, but let's do it. Oh, he's definitely worst of the three, but okay. I get you. I'm challenge it is Matt is gonna be on team Marco. Let's have Mr. Deeb or Guy? No, I, I will pick Guy. Oh, you pick Guy over Mr. Deeb? Okay, I, I agree. That, I agree. I think Guy is better than Mr. Deeb. That's a mistake because Deeb is very. Like he wants to learn, he's practicing nicely. Mm, that is true, that is true. Alright, so that means that Mr. Deeb will go automatically to team Marco then because we're going class by class. Okay. Alright, so Marco you don't get to pick, obviously. So that's Wait, I get, get I get I get two shit tier players. Yep. That's fucked up. Yep. Yep, so that's how it's meant to be. Alright, Latov, from the purple players, you're the B minus class. Have your pick. Let me ask a question. Is Knife like his nickname is Realist? Or what no. was his no, nickname? No, no, no. Knife and Realist are different people. What, what, knife was playing last month, right? Yep. What was his nickname? Knife. Just remind me. <laughs> Nice. Was nice. <laughs> yeah. I I thought I thought he made a different nickname. The ladder. Ah. Uh, I mean, if I'll you wanna, go with knife. If you want to go for the joke, knife has multiple nicknames, but all right, knife it is. So knife on team Latov. Hey Marco, how about you? So many Yuri players. Yeah, you kind of have to think about it as well because you you are you are encouraged to put i'll pick uh necrons because he's the one who plays ra2 the most i think ah okay so man also pick ra2 db is a yuri necrons is ra2 okay so you 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 have to try your best to get an even number of yuri and ra2 players so you don't have to throw a ra2 player into a yuri game all right that's off you're next the B plus? Uh, B minus, so purple. We're moving B from left minus. to right. Oh, so... Take me... I will go with Lloyd. Ooh, not even Snark? Then I was gonna be oh. Lloyd next. Ah, okay, okay. Alright, Lloyd it is. Lloyd on Team Latov, Marco? I mean... I've seen Snark play so many times and he's so bad. <laughs> And I'm just afraid that he will pick allies and make like fucking Chrono Legionnaires. He'll make BFs. <laughs> with Chrono Legionnaires in them. Alright, I'll pick, I'll pick Snark. Ah, I love it, I love it. Alright, Snark the team, Marco. Alright, that's off. Nico Doofus. Nick? No, I will go with Doofus. Doofus, alright, good pick, good pick, good pick. Alright, that means that Nick automatically goes to Team Arco. And then once again, uh, Latav has per first pick for B+. Wait, I'm, bet I'm getting second pick in every class. Fuck. <laughs> it's unlucky because of the number of players that we have. Uh, I will go with... Nob. Nob? Okay. Over Berg? I go Berg. I don't ah, know. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So Berg to Team Marco and Nob to Team Latov. That's interesting, man. It's interesting. All right, Latov, who's your next pick? Laszlo. I don't know. I will go with Smoke, I guess. Smoke, yeah. All right, he's decent. Decent. I'm definitely not picking fucking Laszlo, so I'm getting <laughs> All right. So smoke the team Lazo and then pop out the team Marco. So Laszlo automatically goes to team Lazo. All right. So we're moving on to the A class play. Berg. 
A class players here. So out of the green players that are here. Marco, you finally get foot pick. Let's go. Oh. Let's see. I guess uh I'll have to pick my boy Groot. Ah, I was about, I was gonna say if you say someone else besides Root, you're fucked up. <laughs> okay, Root it is. So Root the team Marco laptop, how about you? I will pick Marsh. You pick sorry? Marsh. Marsh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, back to back Marco. I kinda don't want to pick the guy, but he's so annoying <laughs> that I'm hoping that he will demoralize the enemy team, so I'll pick Beta. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> when, you said, when you said, I don't like this guy, he's kinda annoying, I immediately click Beta and run <laughs> from him. <laughs> Alright, Beta to Team Marco, that's off. Does, does only plays Yuri? He plays both, no? I will pick Zas. He's playing yeah, in place already too a bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit above. I think I might have missed somewhere. Yeah, I did miss Steve. Sorry, right, Steve. I missed your name. Hmm. Alright, so Zaslan to team Latov. Alright, Marco. I might be wrong, but I think uh, Hardcore has won quite a bit show matches lately yeah, against yes. these guys so I'll pick him alright so hit C the team Marco that's off it's on to you uh, I don't know alright Matt one more backseat pick and I'm, I'm gonna fucking kick you out <laughs> <of> <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna allow that. I'm gonna allow that. <laughs> Captains can kick people off their team. <laughs> if they're being a dick. Uh, I will pick Muyang. Oh, Muyang, okay. Do you know who Muyang is? No. I've seen him, like, I've played against him a few times. Right. He's okay. Okay, alright. Muyang the team, last off. Marco, how about you? I'll pick uh, Gino. Good pick, All right, Gino. Gino. Ooh. Alright, that's off? I will have Mikos. Ah. Oh, I forgot you two were like, you brought you back. Oh, R2, alright. There's a couple left, not too many. Pick wisely. I'm not really sure how much Osama is playing. I'm pretty sure he's playing in Rambo. Is it? I hope so. Wouldn't the lag be worse? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick uh, Osama so my guys doesn't have to play against lag. <laughs> so you're gonna pick Osama? Yeah. Alright, Osama it is. I, I, I'm so sad that y'all haven't picked Duke, man. This is insulting. Alright, that's off. I will pick uh, Realist. Ah, okay. You know, Realist has been in really good form lately. He's been playing like fucking amazing. I'll pick uh, Sandstorm. Finally! How, how did y'all take so long to pick Sandstorm? Alright, Latov. Because he plays uh, Allied. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. Uh, I will pick Zed. Good pick. Zed, so, Zed, y'all took so long to pick Zed as well. Alright. Darius, Max, or Steve? Um, I'm gonna pick Steve so he can dis not stay on team. <laughs> Alright, that is Steve in uh, Team Marco. Alright. We've got four left. Or two, no? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, only max and Darius. Yeah, four players in general, but two for A class. Darius and Max. Uh, I will go for Darius. Alright. So <clears throat> that means that automatically Max goes to Team Marco. And a lot of you will be picking for Tien and Ed both. So whoever you don't pick will automatically go to Team Marco. So a lot of Tien or Ed? No, I'll go for Kin. Go for Tien? Alright, the Octo Kid indeed. So there you are. Uh, let me just count the numbers so one, two. I definitely think it would be in, uh, beneficial to throw the series to get the first picks because you got more first picks than me. <laughs> yeah. So there's currently 16 to 17 players. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that top is currently one player down. So, Marco. I'm gonna do you a little... Oh, sorry. Yugi. Okay, okay, I'm missing one person. I'm missing one person. So, I'm missing one person. I don't know whether he was in the list. Was he in the list? Oh, he was not in the list. Okay. Alright. So, because laptop is one person down, and this person is a is a uh, last, uh, last minute addition, so laptop, you will get Yugi as a last minute addition. To make the teams even 17 each. Do you know who Yugi is, Lato? I've played against him in Blitz. Wait, mm. What do you mean he's one person down? Isn't he now one person up? <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, he is. Uh, he is pretty much even now. Yep, that is your team. And that is who you will be. So I will make the channels in the US Revenge Discord server. So that's when you can talk to your team and, and kind of organize and everything. First games are hopefully going to be tomorrow. So uh, first place are going to be C classes. So the C class players are going to be matched up first. And then we're gonna move on from there. All right, boys. Thank you very much for joining me. Good luck. Have fun. And don't kill legend, please, Marco. <laughs>